First tonight, after months of debate, Charlotte city leaders have passed that comprehensive 2040 plan. It is a blueprint for how the city will grow and be built over the next 20 years. It will impact anyone who lives or visits the Queen City for years to come. Getting to this vote has been a long and heated journey. And WCNC Charlotte's Hunter Signs has been covering all the twists and turns of the debate over this plan for months and has the latest for us tonight. This council meeting was a bit more orderly than previous ones, although there was still an attempt to change this plan at the 11th hour. However, the final draft of the 2040 plan passed by a six to five vote. I am not sorry. I think we need more examples of this kind of hard work that we're doing. Mayor Vi Lyles making no apologies for the long process of crafting and approving the 2040 plan, a roadmap on how Charlotte will be built over the next two decades. The plan passed by a slim majority, six to five, those in favor challenging the status quo. We need more housing of all types in all parts of town for all people. I'll be the first to say it. it's not perfect. It's not a perfect plan, but it moves us forward. The vote came down to policy 2.1, changing single family zoning. It will allow duplexes and triplexes to be built just about anywhere, continuing to spark concerns for some council members. Under this plan, it's not a matter of whether gentrification will accelerate, but a matter of how much more it accelerates. Unfortunately, Charlotte's going to become all the bad parts of living in Atlanta. At one point, there was a vote to strip the part about single family zoning out of the plan and vote on it after an economic impact study is done. But that failed. Planning director Taiwo Jaioba, who's been the face of the plan, reacting to its approval. This is a win for our city. And it's frankly speaking, it's not the end of the story. It's not over because city staff will now start to create the unified development ordinance. This is where they will get into the nitty gritty as to how this will all play out in real life. It was a chaotic process to get to this point, so you can only expect what future meetings will be like. The mayor even warning council again tonight. She doesn't expect them all to be friends and to get along, but she does expect respect and decorum. At the Government Center, Hunter Signs, WCNC Charlotte.